I was looking through my journal from our first trip here 35 years ago. One of the things that struck me as I was reading it, I had hiked up to the top of one of the peaks here and had to turn around and come down because you don't spend all of your time on the peaks. They're isolated parts of life. And in coming down, I was starting to have tears in my eyes and feeling that I wasn't going to come back to this very place again. Feeling that this is the only time in my life I will be here. and it starts in the gates of the Arctic National Park. It runs east to west for about 400 miles along the north part of the Brooks Range, which is the northernmost mountain range in Alaska. The Noatak is the longest river in the United States, unaltered by man, and one of the most spectacular rivers in our country. In 1980, we did the Noatak from Matchrock Lake to Kotzebue, and we want to come back and do the headwaters part and maybe a little more. This is when I was talking to that, uh, the ranger. She recommended hiking up this uh, river, the Kugra. Somebody had told us that we were going to be coming back down this river 35 years later. Uh, we wouldn't have believed it. But we'd have been very delighted to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> like how I feel when I'm out here. When you hear people talk of a oneness with nature or unity with the world, in some ways I think it's a more natural environment for me, it's certainly a more natural environment than a city. You know, you look at a map and you see open places on the map, that's the place I want to go. Being at a place like this, being on the rivers, it's a chance to reflect, decide what's important in life, and just to enjoy the incredible uh, beauty of, of being here. See the wildlife, learn the flowers, look at the sky when the sun rises and sets. What some people find when they go to a temple or a church or a mosque, I find when I'm on a river. I met Tip. I was traveling down the Yukon River with my girlfriend. I think this is 1975, and decided to do a river together. And one thing led to another, and we have done at least 30 trips to the north together, each at least three weeks long. We are holed up here because the plane flying us in required two trips and they're only able to make one trip on the day that we came in with two, three days supply of food and basic other supplies. And the other supplies were to be brought in the next day. And the next day it was raining hard and the pilots won't fly where they can't see. Unfortunately, Kevin had tried to fly in, but the uh, clouds were too dense and he couldn't get over the pass and had to turn back. So we've had a little more than two days here and we're hoping they're gonna come in soon because I've made a lot of trips north and I've never had to go without food. No, I don't mind the rain, but I do like food.
what we first have to do is put our boat together, which is a pack boat. And it's a little laborious to put together. We have not put one together before. And we have not used a pack boat before. So this is an interesting experience for us. Mm. For me, rivers are transfixing and spellbinding, and rivers take you places. Rivers move, rivers are alive. I like the ocean a little bit, and I like lakes a little bit, but rivers, they're, they're much more of a passion for me. Sunset at 20 minutes to 12. If we'd been here a month earlier, we wouldn't have any sunset. It was a um, totally overcast sky with intermittent rain light rain, drizzle, but we wanted to hike up the Kugrak River. And uh, we started out, we hiked up uh, tussocks, worked our way through willows, spoke loudly to alert grizzly bears that we were coming through and had just spectacular view hiking up that river valley. And we hiked about five miles until uh, we saw what looked like was probably a hot springs and walked down to it. And it, it wasn't a hot springs, but it was a springs that had water warmer than the river. Just a delightful day. Long day, but a delightful day. I find all of nature just absolutely fascinating. Light travels 186,000 miles a second. It takes 25,000 years to travel just from one side of our galaxy to the other, to the tiniest flower here in the Arctic in some way they all seem to be connected. And it's uh, not so much from a point of view of science that I'm looking at the rocks and the flowers. It's a point of view of beauty. And I've seen so many of these flowers so many times. Coming back, it's like recognizing old friends again. I really like traveling with Tip. He's a great traveling companion. The things that we talk about, there are not many people I can have those same conversations with. He doesn't usually insist on his own way, and when we have differences, we smooth them over without much problem. Sometimes we don't agree on the way to go, and particularly when we were younger, Jim would go in one direction if he thought that was the better direction, and I would go in another direction. Actually, it was on the no attack. We went in different directions, and I didn't see you, and I was concerned that you'd been eaten by a bear or something, and I was tiptoeing around and didn't find you, and then later looked for you and climbed up some little peak and saw you on the top of another little peak looking for me. Now, he may not remember that. I don't remember that incident at all. When Jim and I were on Baffin Island, we visited a little museum and it featured an Inuit saying which touches the Arctic and all of life. And to me, struck home, there's only one great thing and that one great thing is just to live, to open our eyes to the great light of dawn moving across the land and the beginning of the day. Hiking in a Brooks Range, if you start north of the Arctic Circle and in the higher, more northerly part, it's open country right away. You get up high and you get wonderful views and see wonderful mountains. And it's just a wonderful place for hiking. 
it's too late for us to be explorers, but there's adventure and there is a sense of venturing into country that is very rarely traveled. We gained about 2,500 feet in elevation. That's not all that much, but because I'm 77, I handled it okay. There are more restrictions with aging. I can't do the same types of things I did when I was 40 or 50 or, or even 60. How many more times am I coming up here? We realize how much we have left they're going to be able to keep doing, you know. As we get older, that's, that's, it's, that's coming towards an end here. I'm grateful I'm doing as well as I am, but I'm certainly appreciating things like today's hike more than ever. Maybe this is the last trip, but I'm not saying it's the last trip. Ritual is an enormous part of, of human activities, and those rituals give meaning to life. But with time, some of those rituals no longer have the same impact in someone's life. And I think by, by accident, by chance, Jim and I started going down rivers together. We were intrigued by them. There was the adventure, there was the friendship, there was just the spectacular beauty. And in some ways, it became a ritual that helped give meaning, at least to, to my life. And I can remember Jim calling me up in December or January and saying, are you ready to go canoeing? When you look over the 40 years of trips, we have had a lot of wonderful times and hard times, and the hard times were wonderful times. Pure pleasure, pure, unadulterated, unmixed by any negative aspect, is getting a really nice fast current and being able to see the rocks or the trees just fly by. That is such a nice feeling. About three years ago, I was in Pakistan with a group to uh, climb a mountain. And one night after dinner, one of the women on the trip asked me, since I was almost 70 at the time, as I look back on my life, what tends to, to stand out? And I responded that I really didn't consider my life over yet. I have so many things I want to do it would take another whole lifetime to do them, and then that probably wouldn't be long enough. I remember the poem by Edna St. Vincent Millay in which she says, My candle burns at both ends, it will not last the night. But ah, my friends and oh, my foes, it gives a lovely light. <laughs> <laughs>